gonna start this this little video down here uh, where I'm at. I've been riding along down in here and I thought this road went through but it goes down dead ends. I just taken another little little ride on the on dirt roads and stuff today. So, let's see what it looks like up to here. <laughs> Kind of cool ride. <coughs> I'm running about 40 miles an hour, 45. Found me another dirt road to go down here. A little bumpy one. This is known as Old Copper Hill Road. <coughs> Used to be the old road that went from Blue Ridge to Copper Hill, Tennessee. Back, back before my time. I don't know when this road was built, but a long time ago. Parts of it's paved down through here, but it's just a nice little quiet ride down through here. Well, I decided to do it. I guess this is not one of the parts that's paid. I thought maybe it would be. It's okay. This scooter's a little bit uh, higher center of gravity than my other scooter is. And therefore, it handles a little strange to me, you know, compared to the other scooter. This thing sits probably, the bottom of it at least sits probably four inches higher. That's like four inches more of ground clearance. And it's got these little bitty tires on it. These, these tires are, the rubber's just hard as it can be. It don't have no give or nothing at all. I think they, they're going to get replaced with some, some knobbies or semi knobbies of some kind or another. Better handy than at least little off road. Adventurous. Look at that old barn there. Old Copper Hill Road. I don't know if this old house is still here or not. There used to be an old house right there in all that mess. Well, yeah, maybe they're maybe they're tearing it down or getting ready to tear it down. Now, it's still back in there. Pieces of it are. This is farmland down here. There's a big farm over here on the left. Well, I guess on both sides, it went right through their field. There's the farmer's house.
took her might be going to run back in the pavement up here. I don't know. Can't remember. It's been a long time since I've been over here. No, not yet. I used to ride my four-wheeler back in here, too, on these little country roads. There's some nice places to ride back here. Up through the woods and stuff. Back before I was making YouTube videos, around the year 2000 to 2003 or 4 or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, here we got some pavement here. This is all grown up back in here now. All kinds of fancy houses and stuff in here. It's really back in here. I like these pine thickets like this. We get on up here, I'll show you this little little hill that <laughs> you know, I got really surprised that uh, I was riding before any of these houses was back in here. This was all just a dirt road. I was back here on my four wheeler and I seen this little mound of dirt right here behind this. Well, let's get on up here so you can see it a little better. It's a little bump of a hill here behind where this house is at right here. And uh, so I could see there, there was something up there on top of that hill. And I'll pull around here where I can see it a little bit better. That's that right there. And uh, I looked and looked, and I finally pulled off the road and went across that little field there. And I went up on that hill, rode the four wheeler up there. And there's a bunch of old graves up there. I mean, we're talking about. You know, over 100 years old, maybe 150 years old even. And so I'm uh, where I'm at. I couldn't. Uh, I didn't want to try to back down that hill, so I decided I'd get off the four wheeler and pull the rear end around on it where I could go back down. And there was a bunch of copperheads up there. How many? I don't know, but more than I wanted to bother to count. <laughs> anyway, copperheads, and I think I saw a rattlesnake or two up there too. <laughs> that hill was covered with them. I think I must have found me a nest of them or something. Or anyway, I've done some high stepping to get the hell out of there. That's a pretty little creek right there. People building all back in here everywhere.